This is AI on a completely new level. Hello, my friends, and how are you doing? Today, I want to show you OmniHuman. This is a research done by ByteDance, the company that has created TikTok, but also CapCut, and does really impressive AI projects. What this can do is using a single frame and an audio input to create a completely realistic video. So let's check out some examples. First, I want to play you this clip. Just watch it and then I'm going to talk about it. But how do we produce food without destroying nature? How do we deliver to 10 billion people affordable, nutritious and sustainable food? So here, as you can see on the top left, you have the original video that is the complete video with the audio. And on the top right, you have this created just from a single image and just from the audio input, which means this is different. For example, the shirt has changed a little bit, but also the way he moves is different, but still completely believable. And even I would say in a certain way in character, of course, I can't tell because I don't know the person, but comparing it to the real video, you could just think this is another part of that same video. Now you also have two different examples below where it is using other forms of input, for example, also the hand and the body, because this is a multimodal model. It can use an audio input, image input and video input to guide the result you want to create. And of course, the benefit of that is if you have an image input that you want to use as a style, but then also a video input you want to use for the movement, you can have different movement from the style and then render audio on top of that. Now, one of the impressive things here is that this is super believable, very realistic, but also that this model is not just trained on the facial expression or the lip syncing. This model is trained on the full body motion. And this is why this works so well and pays so much attention to different details. So let's check out some other examples. Give people something to believe in and they will move from you and me to us. Oh, hey, 你们是怎么发现我的? 虽然我知道这样说有点不合适,但是为了你们的健康着想,希望你们记得多吃蔬菜。here we have, for example, more like a child serious show character, and it is looking more like a 3D animation, a little bit more goofy. But at the same time, you can really see that this is believable, that the actions work well together. It doesn't really feel any kind of uncanny or any kind of strange. It feels just like a scene from a kid's show with a strange character. And this is amazing that this works so well, that everything comes together, even how the background is replaced around the movement of the character is really impressive. Now, some of you may know me as a stand-up comedian and from my appearances on Roast, but I am not here to roast you tonight. I want you to know that. and. How could I, really? You're all so famous, so talented, so powerful. I mean, you could really do anything. I mean, except here I have another example for you that is equally impressive. And one thing I want to point out here is the light reflections on her dress, because here we have this kind of shimmering kind of it looks like a little bit like a fish scale or chrome or things like that. And how this light is reflected and looking so realistic, but also the complete body movement, the hair movement, the reflection on her skin, the way she talks, the way her hands move is really, really impressive. And of course, you have to point out here that all of this is at, at least for me, anatomically correct. The hands look correct, the body look correct, the movement looks correct. This is really, really incredible. What would art be like without emotions? It would be empty. What would our lives be like without emotions? They would be empty of values. So uh, a famous uh, classical poet said, we hate and we love. Can one tell me why? Catulus. Uh, science does not answer why questions. 
Here we have another example using an image of Einstein and then just different audio where he's talking about some topic. And again, it looks really, really good. Now, if you think, wait, this hand looks a little bit botched. No, he's actually holding something in that hand. And even that is moving correctly with the hand. So there's no strange chiggering or flickering or kind of strange motion all of that just looks like an old video of Einstein doing a lecture. Really impressive. Now, when we look at all of this amazing quality, on the one side, I absolutely love it because this shows us a glimpse into the future of the production of videos, of shows, of games, all these kind of amazing things. But it, of course, also will dramatically change how social media is working because you can already imagine how many faceless channels will be out there from creators who use an image but don't show their face. They have this kind of like AI character or also videos from click farms already. We've seen tons of those clicks farms is where you create kind of like any kind of content that might be generating a lot of views. And then over time, you will put, for example, links under the videos for scams or for affiliate or any kind of thing. So yeah, a lot of like scammy and pushy stuff, not so great. And another thing that is a little bit scary is if you look at the political climate right now and you think about the potential of how this can be used in this quality that is 100% believable and you can't distinguish it from an actual real video, how this can be used for manipulation, well, that is on a completely different level. But I'm more on the positive side. I want to see the artistic uses of that. I want to see indie filmmakers make amazing results with that. So I'm really looking forward to seeing where this goes in the future. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye.